what is going on guys it is a fine fine super fine day here in southwest pa and it is kind of cool it's you know 8 30 and it's still like 89 degrees it has been absolutely insane here in the northeast with heat i hate the heat i hate it it is it is horrible i don't understand why anybody would want to live like this all the time uh looking at you florida i mean i don't know people like what they like i guess but i i absolutely hate this but we are not going to talk about my hatred towards the uh the warmer temperatures we are going to talk about the ninja 650 and this 15,000 mile review this is a 2023 kawasaki ninja 650 with 15,000 miles actually it's 15503 now i put 500 miles on it uh since i announced that we had 15,000 miles on it so miles add up pretty quickly and this is kind of going to be uh put my hands on the stuff because there are deer and stuff um we are going to be kind of giving a a review about it um if i'm being honest i did another review on it i can't remember how many mile review it was but i'll you know i'll post the thumbnail up here and i'll put a link in the description if you want a more thorough uh, review on this bike with a uh, rather high mileage because a lot of what I'm about to say is kind of kind of all the same and uh, nothing has changed if I'm being a hundred percent honest um, and the other part of this video somebody asked to kind of go over the mods that I have on it and what I plan on doing so we'll, we'll cover that here too um, as far as like a 15,000 mile review goes like I said, the other video that I had really got into it, um, but I will cover a couple things. First and foremost, I'm not bored of this bike at all. Um, I did not outgrow this motorcycle. I made a very good purchase buying this bike by figuring out exactly what I needed and what my uh, what I just needed for my. Uh, for my situation finances where i'm at and what i'm trying to get out of the bike so with that being said i did not get bored of this bike i'm learning more and more about myself as a uh trail i want to go uh we'll go this way i'm learning more and more about myself as a rider and i've been really able to to push this bike um pretty hard for my for my uh skill level i think um i uh i've been able to hit the twisties going uh pretty quickly if i'm being honest i don't show that kind of footage because i uh should have went that way no screw that road they redid the road and it's like all groovy and it's absolutely horrible but i don't show that kind of content because i uh for two reasons the first reason is i don't want to put off a bad image i don't want people watching stuff like that and being like oh i can do that too and you know even if you could it, i don't i don't want to inspire people to um break the law <laughs> essentially and to uh do things they might not be ready for um and the third second reason why i don't post videos like that is because you do get a high from likes and comments and viewership and those kind of videos do gain a lot of traction and i don't think that i would but i don't know and i don't want to test the waters where i post a video of me riding aggressive and it blows up or blows up as far as moto vlogs go and that encourages me to want what is this and that encourages me to want to to do more stuff like that because then you start chasing something and you start doing something for views and then you push yourself beyond your capability and you get yourself in a bad situation but going back to the 15,000 mile review i have been able to push this bike pretty freaking hard um i've been able to do some pretty sharp turns at you know 60 mile an hour 70 mile an hour i'm not gonna lie um and 
you know, I, I, I wish I could go to a track, but I can't unfortunately go to a track because I can't afford it. But, you know, as far as that goes, I haven't got bored of the bike because I this is such a perfect bike for me because it's comfortable, it's upright, it's got the nice touring and longevity as far as ride, ridership goes, as well as it got the sporty horsepower and the sporty torque to to get you uh, to get you driving pretty quickly. So uh, definitely did not get bored of the bike. Uh, maintenance wise. Uh, just the average wear and tear on this bike i've never had anything stupid or weird go wrong with this bike where i had to take it to the shop you know i never had anything like a fuel pump or just is any weird thing that shouldn't happen happen and um that's really nice i really really appreciate that uh, kawasaki makes some high quality vehicles as do all the other japanese um uh japanese competitors so you know big shout out to them for making a such a nice bike as far as maintenance goes um i still gotta do the spark plugs and the air filter that is part of the 7000 mile or 10,000 mile I think it's 7,000 mile um, I honestly just haven't done it be because of money and it's not something that needs done right away right away probably the air filter because that will get me better gas mileage spark plugs are still fine you can tell with how it rides it's um it's still good but you know I'm not not saying that I should uh, neglect that it, it still needs done but it's a money thing man it's a uh, it's a money thing uh the the other thing that really needs done and this is what needs done on it right now is brakes i need front brakes really really bad and uh a subscriber who's becoming a a, a friend of mine matt he said that he would help me with the brakes so matt if you're watching this uh first off shout out to you it's always nice meeting you guys up at uh up at mercedes um but uh i will be contacting you if you're being serious about helping me with that and uh, i will pay you regardless if you want to be paid you will be paid uh i am a firm believer in paying for knowledge and time and you offer both of those to me so i have no qualms of paying you whatsoever um if you guys know what kind of brakes i should get let me know because if i'm being honest i want to get not the most expensive brakes but they're they're definitely like uh more expensive brakes i don't know if that's necessarily overkill but with how i ride uh with how long i ride and you know i do practice aggressive braking and things like that i just want something to last last me a, a decent long time so i found a, pa a, a pair of brakes on um denniskirk.com that's kind of where i always get all my stuff i'll link them in the description they got a lot of stuff um you know i put in my bike and they give me everything that's exact exact fits so uh i do need brakes 100 percent uh and i need my brake calipers clean because i can tell it 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 feels like it almost wants to stick and that's really bad that needs taken care of so i'm hoping to get the new brakes on as well as clean those calipers uh the only other thing that i need on this bike uh relatively soon is tires um my first oem tires i think i had 8,000 miles on them right now i'm running uh uh bridgestone battle axe t32s and they have about well i actually set the odometer uh for them i have uh 5500 miles on them which i'm kind of surprised i didn't get a little bit more out of them i thought i i would have considering that it is a uh it is a a, a touring tire with a harder middle compound but I also ran the hell out of oh look at the sun that is really cool i also ran the hell out of my um my uh, oems well beyond the uh, the point of where they needed change so that was my bad but i do need new tires and 
I'm kind of thinking of what tires to get. I'm honestly thinking about running the same play and getting another pair of Battle Axe T32s, if I'm being honest. I mean, they have been phenomenal tires in the rain. I mean, and that's what I want. I want a, a, a longevity tire for touring and with a hyper focus on um, rain conditions. So, you know, it's either that, wow, that sun is amazing. Can you see that? I mean, that sun is like really freaking big. Um, or I might get the, um, oh, what are they? Michelin Road 6. Uh, those are a very common tire. I see everybody and their brother have them. So, not that old because everyone has the money to get. I'm not. So I'm saying. I just. I just know that they're around and they are. They are very good tires. I hope that they would. Uh, you know, keep up as much as these battle axes because I mean I rode this thing in numerous torrential downpours and never had a single issue with it. So, you know, as far as like continuing on like a 15,000 mile review, I mean, I, again, just. I, it, it sucks, but you know, there's the other video to watch because I go in a lot more detail and I don't want to just repeat myself That's why I kind of put up a poll if I was even going to make this video because nothing has changed I I did not get bored of the bike. There was uh, no new uh, 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 Mechanical maintenance that needs done just the very basic wear tear brakes and tires and that uh that fuel or not fuel filter the air the air filter and the spark plugs need changing eventually and i should do that myself i know but that's a very daunting task because you it requires taking off the gas tank itself um so i don't know uh you know they want 500 dollars to do that job and that's uh that's a lot of money for me. Uh, I knew getting into mo motorcycling that things are expensive and that just kind of is what it is, but it still, uh, it still kind of sucks that it's that much. Um, so, <laughs> sorry, that's a horrible 15,000 mile review, but it's a great bike. Get it if you're thinking about getting it. 15,000 miles strong, just basic maintenance. No weird issues whatsoever did not get bored of the bike whatsoever i mean i'm still having a tremendous amount of fun playing on this bike it is uh it is the perfect motorcycle for me in my son uh my situations as far as you know finances and where i'm at and what i wanted to get out of a motorcycle and the 650 has delivered time and time again every single time um so the next part of the video was somebody asked uh they asked what mods have i made to the bike or what mods do i plan on making to this bike um and the mods that i made to this bike are this little uh cell phone uh holder that's it i have no other mods on this bike this bike is completely vanilla and the reason for that um, is money, essentially. But if I did have the money, the upgrades that I would give to this bike would be crash protection and, um, and luggage, tank bag and uh, rear luggage. If I'm being completely honest, and this might, uh, you know, tickle somebody the wrong way, but I don't, I don't care about putting a exhaust system on my bike right now. I know that's like the first thing everybody does is they get a, they get a bike and they want to put an exhaust system on it. I don't see the point if I'm being 100% honest. They are extremely expensive and you get nothing out of it except a little bit of a power gain and a loud bike to me that's not worth seven eight hundred dollars it's just not um but i can tell you what i have planned for this bike and the next bikes that i plan on getting so i don't know if you guys are aware some of you might be this is my only source of transportation i do have a car but it needs a battery and i'm selling it i don't need a car I, I'm, I'm going to ride year-round. I rode year-round last year. I'm going to ride year-round this year. 
that's just me. Uh, I love riding in the snow. I love riding in the rain. I like riding in the cold. I like riding in the sleet. I, li I don't like riding in the summer. That's the only thing I don't like. So uh, as far as a second bike goes, I am going to be looking for a, uh, a cheaper bike, kind of like a beater bike. I was kind of up in the air be between getting a brand new, what, what is that, a Honda? 100 XR XR 100 they got a little white one it's like 100 cc's um and that would be completely fine for me brand new out the gate is three grand so the reason I want something like that is so I won't be too pissed off if I drop it or wreck it in the snow and ice that's really the only reason um, yeah, I could get like knobby tires on this thing, but uh, I just I don't want to do that. I don't want to I don't want to wreck this bike. I love this bike too much, and it's now become my only source of transportation. So I can't do that. But getting another bike in the winter, it really depends if I can um, get my shit together and just order this DoorDash bag so I can DoorDash on the motorcycle. I have just under three thousand dollars left on this bike and my plan anyways is to hurry up get this thing paid off before winter and finance uh that little uh that little honda or another bike and probably sell it in the spring and uh next spring what i would love to do is i want to get my next bike i'm keeping this bike but i want to get my second bike technically third bike and i want a kawasaki versus 1000 i fell in love with tall bikes that is the bike that i want i would like to get brand new but after owning a brand new bike i realize it's not that important to me to get a brand new motorcycle um i i just found a 2016 with 2200 miles on it white in color it has to be a white bike or i'll get it wrapped white and they wanted uh seven grand for it and in the uh it was on marketplace and on the in the description the guy said oh i'm a i'm a 76 year old man got the bike realizes a little bit too much for me so uh I, I need to get rid of it and that's what's fantastic about um old people because those bikes and another bike that I really want to get, the Kawasaki uh, um, Vaquera uh, 1700, a lot of old timers, they buy that bike because that's quote unquote an old person's bike and they quickly realize that it's too heavy. It's, it's a very big bike. So that's what's really nice about it and I think that's kind of the path that I'm going to take is for my, uh, my next big bike is to buy a used um, Versus 1000 I, I i just love super tall bikes now man they are totally different it is it is exactly what i want and in a perfect world what i would like to do with this bike after i get the verses is i want to get all the tuning done on this bike i want to put a full exhaust system on it with a um with a uh, ecu flash so i want to flash it and then i want to get a full exhaust system because that's when you're going to get the actual power out of the bike is flashing it with a full exhaust and then it would be uh not just a loud bike it would be a faster loud bike uh so that's that's definitely part of the plan as well as i would love 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 to get some really good racing tires on it like this the uh i'm gonna butcher it i don't i can't are they diablos rossi rossi something diablos i want to get some real sticky tires and the reason why i don't get those tires now is because racing tires have a softer compound which means you will wear through the tire even faster and if i wore through this brand new pair of tires in like what the hell am i doing in like 5,000 miles and it only took me 
um, about five months to do that and uh, some of that was in the winter I would run through those tires so fast uh, I w it wouldn't be worth it to me it just wouldn't be worth it to me so um, yeah whenever I get my uh, my other bike I definitely would like to do an ECU flash on this a full exhaust system on this and I would like to uh, to uh, get those tires on it and I actually would consider wrapping it I, uh, I, I kind of had it in my head I don't know where this idea or thought came from but kind of how Jigsaw Bra has that uh, that white and uh, purple I would like to either do white and fluorescent orange or a gunmetal gray and a fluorescent orange um, but you know who's to say nobody really knows what's gonna happen in the future so I can't say definitely that's what I'm gonna do but excuse me those are just kind of uh, kind of my thoughts as far as well I suck at riding right now it is so unbelievably hot guys it is so unbelievably hot and like the humidity is in like the 60 percent and it's like uh, a heat index of like 105 in full gear is insane absolutely insane uh, so uh, a quick tip on how to ride a motorcycle properly geared up in the summer don't do it so thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed the video and i'm just kidding you know it's it sucks to me but if that's what you enjoy that's what you enjoy but i hope that this video was okay again i'm sorry that there wasn't any real new information about it i haven't you know wrecked it uh, in my time i just laid it down the the one time and just wear and tear ma'am regular maintenance is good it's all good so there's honestly not much i can say i love the bike i would buy this bike a million times over again if i knew the future and knew how everything was going to go up would i or would i buy a versus 650 that's an interesting observation i'd probably still get the ninja 650 it's uh it's my bike besides what would my uh, youtube channel be uh versus city city versus that doesn't flow off the flow off the tongue very well but anyways i'm just rambling this video audio probably wasn't even recording uh matt if you're watching this uh obviously uh thank you so much in advance if you uh if you help me out with that and uh i will be helping you out for helping me out and uh hopefully learn something and uh, have a new video for you guys because we're going to record it uh and it will be a fantastic banger of a video but again thank you guys so much for watching if you generally enjoyed this content don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next one